So today I'm going to be sharing some really simple styling tips to help you maximize your wardrobe and all those small tweaks that you can reach for to help you transition your wardrobe from season to season. So let's get started. So my first style tip for really maximizing your wardrobe would be to have a think about how you can wear pieces you've already got in new and interesting ways. So let's start off with something really, really basic and that would be a great pair of trousers. Sorry, I might have to walk out a shot here, but a great pair of trousers that I wore so much throughout spring, summer and the fabric is, oh, wrong way around. The fabric is fairly lightweight, would be this beautiful pair. Love the tailoring on these, but in the height of winter, they could be quite cold actually. So I'm just styling those with a pair of thick black tights underneath. It doesn't change the line of the trousers at all. It doesn't take away from that beautiful tailoring. It just enables me to get even more wear out of them, even in those colder months. Another example would be this beautiful cardigan um, that's got obviously quite a V-neck here that can feel a little bit too cold in the height of winter. So I'll change over to something a little bit more chunky with a high neck because that's obviously going to keep me a little bit more toasty. And then thinking of something that was quite an, mm, hold on, <laughs> hold on. And then thinking of something that was a bit of an out, out outfit for me um, at Christmas time is this lovely metallic knitted skirt. And of course you're ticking one of the big fashion trends this season with the metallic trend. I will instead be styling this with thick black tights underneath. I wear my knee high boots as well well, just so I've got another extra layer of uh, covering on my legs to keep me warmer. And rather than style it with that quite flimsy looking top, I'll add a chunky knit over the top instead. So try and think a little bit differently about the pieces you've already got in your wardrobe. And rather than them just sit there and wait for spring to arrive, which might be a long time, try and think of new ways that you could style them to make them work and be appropriate for when it's cold. Because I'd hazard a guess there is pretty much a way to make almost most everything in my overstuffed wardrobe work for the colder weather with just a few tweaks here and there. So onto style tip number two, and I think accessories are a brilliant way to really maximize your wardrobe and get the most out of those pieces that you've already got. Plus, I think you can change up your whole look just by adding a few different accessories and bring it right up to date. So let me show you what I mean. So this belt, for example, would have been my go-to everyday belt that I wore with all my different jeans. And a very simple switch out that I've done recently was just to buy myself a skinny belt. Skinny belts are particularly on trend at the moment. They've definitely been swamped all across the high street, but I actually, just from a personal point of view as well, I think they make my trousers or my jeans feel a little bit more elegant rather than, I suppose, quite a chunky looking belt. Another idea would be, say this coat I've got here, that's, you know, something I wear on a daily basis, really, a bit of a throw on, but beautiful throw on wool winter coat. It's looking a little bit tired now because because I wear it so much. So a very simple idea to really get the most out of this and change up the look just by adding an accessory would be to layer over a tonal but contrasting scarf as well. And as you can see, when you just put, I mean, it doesn't have to be a camel or a cider scarf like I've got here, but just adding another tone, quite a rich tone into the mix makes that coat suddenly look a lot more expensive and luxurious. And all I've actually done is added a scarf over the top. Another idea Idea would be just with a simple piece of knitwear um, and again let me oh let's do this one this is a cream version of the one I'm wearing today actually one of my favorite knits um, it's really comfortable to wear um, made from 100% cotton it's quite basic really as a knit even though you have got these gold buttons down the shoulder but to elevate that outfit and make use of the pieces I've already got I would just add um, again thinking of scarves but if you just layered a beautiful scarf over the top as I often say quality over quantity if cashmere is within your budget, brilliant. If not, look for maybe merino. Avoid polyester like the plague <laughs> and save your pennies until you can get those really lovely fabrics in the mix because something as simple as that, laying a luxurious scarf over a very simple jumper, is just going to give you a whole different outfit idea, really, really elevate it. And you could use that accessory again and again to change up the different tops and jumpers that you've already got in your wardrobe. And one more point on accessories, actually, because I think it's a really easy easy way to sort of change up your look. Probably from quite a trend point of view, actually, with my ankle boots. Now I do have those lovely round toe ones that I wear an awful lot. And I've also got these slightly tired looking ankle boots, which I refuse to throw out because they're so ridiculously comfy and I love the shape, but they do look a little bit tired.
tired. So a very simple switch out to get the most out of your wardrobe and kind of give your outfits a little bit of va va voom would be to utilize my knee high boots instead. Now I am finding these particularly helpful to style over the top of my jeans because they're quite wide at the top. They mix up my outfit ideas with skirts that I want to wear. They enable me to wear some of those skirts and dresses that would traditionally be thought of for autumn or spring perhaps. And of course with them being particularly on trend at the moment it does feel like they're updating my look at the same time. Just a quick mention if you're new here I post styling videos and outfit ideas once sometimes twice a week. It's totally free to subscribe and it's always very much appreciated. I shall add a link for you to be able to do so if you so wish in the description box below. So on to style tip number three and this is all about being careful about your colour palette that you choose to add into your wardrobe. Now my wardrobe is excessively stuffed and there's an awful lot of clothes there which I absolutely don't think anybody needs to have in their wardrobe it's just because of my job. But what you can see as you just look at these rails and particularly this section here which Abby has very kindly colour coordinated for me there are an awful lot of neutrals. So not only am I careful about the colours I choose but I choose those tones that are going to end up being really really timeless for years to come. There is a method to my madness with how I buy my items. So a really good style tip in this case is not only to think about the colours that you generally seem to wear on repeat. Do you particularly like your dark tones, your greys, your blacks? Is that your personal style? And if that's the case and grey is particularly your thing or those darker tones, I would advise doing a really good declutter and organise your wardrobe and see where those random colours are that aren't really working and hence aren't going to get a lot of wear from you. So for example, this rail is all very neutral but there's this sort of area seems to be standing out a mile for me and that would be quite a bright print for me. We've got lots of colours going on there with this particular top and then another thing sticking out like a sore thumb would be this denim jacket. Now tone wise neither of those particularly work with my palette and probably style wise they're both a little bit different for me. So I can immediately see okay I want to get the most out of my wardrobe let's put those to one side let's either donate sell or at least put away. So the moral of the story there really is to stick to a colour palette that you know you genuinely wear on a day-to-day -day basis. Spot the distracting colours in your wardrobe that you aren't really reaching for and take them out of your wardrobe. That way getting dressed each morning is going to become so much easier. So on to style tip four and I would say having a range of really good basics in your wardrobe can absolutely help you along the way to maximising what you've already got. So let me explain a little bit with some tops for example that I've got here. I feel like stressing this again but you do not need to have all these different tops in your own wardrobe. Just having a few key items that will mix and match with all your different outfit ideas. Remembering about accessories that you can add in and out and change up an outfit. These are the key ones I would say. So rather than reaching for cotton shirts at the moment I seem to be preferring blouses. Um, so I've chosen a silk blouse here. This is probably one of my most warm blouses. In fact my white version is probably my most warm but that's currently in the wash. Same thing again for a crew neck t-shirt. Either short sleeves like this one or if you prefer something long sleeves as well. In fact I've just ordered from COS the long sleeve version of this one which is the heavyweight cotton that they do. I think they make some of the best t-shirts out there so I would definitely recommend them. Now the other item I've added onto here would be a tank top and I know lots of people are thinking but it's freezing outside Jessica I would be wearing a tank. However I tend to use tanks a little bit like I use thermals. I'm using that as a base layer so today I think I've got yeah I've got a tank top underneath my jumper kind of like I'm wearing a vest I suppose. Do you find them really really handy and it enables me actually to wear some of my blouses which I think I would deem more spring appropriate. If I layer a tank underneath I feel warm enough to be able to wear them in winter too. And you can also think about styling your jewellery in new ways to sort of mix up an outfit to really get the most out of them as well. So for instance if you normally what have I got on today? I'm sorry I'm probably hitting that microphone. So I've got one heart necklace on today. So if you normally reach for one necklace like I'm wearing today why not think about layering three at the same time um, over a long sleeve t-shirt just to change up the look. Very simple but actually it can be really effective. Another nice idea I've been doing recently this brace that I seem to wear all 
all the time. I'm going to sleep in that one actually. But sometimes if I want to make an outfit feel a little bit more special, I'll layer a sparkly one beside it. Um, and equally, if I'm wearing something kind of like a simple sweatshirt and I want to give the outfit a little bit more of a voom, I'll often put like a contrasting bit of sparkle on my wrist or maybe contrasting sparkles with my earrings. And it just kind of adds a bit of an unexpected touch to very, very simple looks. So I would have a little look through your jewelry collection of pieces you've already got. Can you one, style them in different ways, the contrast of a very dressed down outfit with something quite sparkly or vice versa. And it's about not just saving something for best or sticking to your usual formula of how you'll wear that particular piece of jewelry. Try and think about it a little bit differently and really get the most out of literally everything you've got in your wardrobe, not just the clothes. Build a range rather than just duplicates. And what I mean by that is say you find a pair of trousers like these, for example, that you absolutely love the fit of, you love how they drape, you love how they sit on the waistband, tick, 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 tick. However, rather than just stock up and buy those pair of trousers in four different colors, that's gonna end up being quite limiting for your outfit ideas because you've only got one style of trousers. It's better, at least in the interim stages of collating that perfect wardrobe that you can really get the most out of, to think about different styles that will equally suit you too. And there will definitely be more than one style of trousers that suit you. So here, for example, I've gone for a different tone. I've got a crew and this is my wide leg pair of trousers. Then I've got quite a straight pair cigarette pant in the black and those have got a contrasting satin trim down them. So again, I'm thinking different shapes, different tones, but they all still work together and are cohesive with the color palette I've got in my wardrobe. And then for example, finally, you could have a paper bag style pair of trousers. Again, a different tone, adding that caramel into the mix. But thinking of my color palette, all of those are going to mix and match with the coats I've already got. They're going to mix and match with the colors of my tops, my blouses and my jumpers. But it's also given me four different shapes and styles that will really enable me to maximize my use out of all my different tops. Unlike my husband, David, who sees a pair of trousers he loves and in his head, he will go, well, if you love them, why would you not buy them in four different colors that they're available in? Which I kind of get the logic on, but it's quite a typical man to say that sort of thing. And I think if budget is no problem or once you've completely got your capsule wardrobe together and you go, okay, I think I need a couple more pairs of trousers. I totally agree. Go back to what you know and you know you love this particular shape. Go for that in another color, but only when you've got that core of a capsule wardrobe on your rail already. Now, along with the obvious decluttering and organizing your wardrobe, another really good style tip is to take a look at your wardrobe as a whole and pick out those few pieces that are the least worn. So let me just grab something that I was thinking I've probably not got enough wear out of it to justify having it on my rail. So this stripe jumper, I love stripes. Why have I not worn this an awful lot? I do not know. But for whatever reason, I just don't seem to reach for it a lot. So a really good idea before you decide to donate or sell is to double check it first and force yourself to wear said item in a couple of different ways over the next month, for example. So I might style that with jeans. I'm going to try it with my tailored trousers. I'll try it with a long skirt and tights underneath. Force yourself to restyle those pieces you already have in new ways. And when it's not working, be honest with yourself and stick it on your donate or vintage pile. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I'm a little bit obsessed with blazers, but I just find them so incredibly versatile. And although I hear a lot of people say they can be great for workwear, I actually wear them an awful lot in my day-to-day -day life, not just saving them for best. So let me explain what I mean with a couple that I've got. So I've got my navy, I've got an a crew that sort of blazer jacket. I've got my gray. Oh, I've got quite a few going on here. I told you I was a little bit obsessed. But basically, I've got a good selection of blazers, which I would never discount from my wardrobe just because it's cold outside and we're obviously in those winter months. So say a blazer like this is one of my favorites um, done in the navy. So really thinking from the ground up, what will it take to enable me to wear this and feel comfortable outside while it's cold? So you could start with a base layer of some thermals, then maybe add a roll neck or a turtle neck, then adding your blazer over the top of that and pairing it with jeans. So it's kind of a contrast of that high to low look. That's definitely the sort of outfit idea I tend to reach for. I don't work in an office, but I just love blazers and I think they're probably one of the most versatile pieces in my wardrobe. And they actually enable me to really get the most out of other items I have as well. So thinking of really maximizing the other pieces I've got, say I want to wear a dress um, and it's freezing outside. So again, I'll do my thermals underneath. I would do my thick black tights. I'd do my knee high boots. I'd even add possibly 
a jumper over the top of that dress and then to mix up the styling I'd maybe add a blazer. Changes up the whole look, makes me feel like I'm ticking a few of the trend boxes at the same time but it also forces me to get more use out of some of those other pieces I've got on my rail as well. And a little bit like trousers I would say having a good selection of colours and shapes on your blazers is really really handy. Now I've been collating these blazers over the last few years so I certainly don't think you need all of them and I definitely don't think you need to go head first straight away need 10 different blazers. However as you create your own capsule wardrobe and you slowly but surely start adding them in again be mindful of textures, tones, how are they going to blend together and how do they work with the other pieces in your wardrobe. Now back to accessories again for a minute and I think having that perfect do it all tick all the boxes kind of handbag can be invaluable to have within your own outfit ideas. For example I have got this lovely tote here that I have in the camel and I've got this beautiful quite structured handbag that I've gone for in the black. This one is probably my most used handbag that I've got in my collection at the moment. This one oh it's got lots of medicine in there. <laughs> this one is probably my most used handbag recently. So I would say at least having one really, really great handbag that you absolutely love that pretty much goes with every single outfit idea can not only change up the look of something quite casual, for example, like I'm wearing today, but also obviously that's going to work with some of your more elevated outfits. So if you don't already have that one perfect forever bag in your own wardrobe, I think it's really worth saving your pennies to buy the one that you really, really want and one that you know you're going to have literally forever because I do find having a great handbag just polishes off any of my outfit ideas however casual they might be. So once you've got all your colours sorted you find that's really cohesive, you've got your basics, you've got your blazers, you've got your different shapes of your trousers then a really really simple style tip to finish would be to add a different pair of tights and by different I mean one of the fashion trends at the moment is to have a pair of dotty or pattern tights in the mix. They're really really affordable to buy. I think the first pair I bought from um, Cezanne they were a little bit more pricey. Once I'd put a hole in them I went to Amazon and I got these for about $4.99 but adding these underneath say my jeans and you just see a tiny little trim of them between my shoes and the hem of my jeans just makes the outfit feel a little bit more up to date and I've done that with £4.99. Just for something simple like a pair of different tights can actually make you feel a little bit more invigorated about some of those pieces that have maybe been in your wardrobe for a while. That felt like a very big chit chat. <laughs> And it's getting dark in here so I think I should stop now and go pick up Walter from school. But I really hope all of those style tips today has given you lots of different ideas of how you can maximise your own wardrobe and those pieces that you've already got without having to buy anything new except maybe a pair of $4.99 pair of tights. Do let me know in the comments section which was your favourite style tip or perhaps if you've got some style tips that you'd like to share with all the other subscribers as well do let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. It's a pleasure being back on YouTube again after a little break over Christmas and I am very very excited about sharing all the new spring summer 2024 collections with you over the coming months. Have a lovely week everyone, see you soon.